praise the Lord, everyone on the line tonight. We thank God for this great opportunity to speak into your life, saints. We're about to start a brand new book on on our Tuesday night sound doctrine line of Magnify Him Ministry. I pray that everyone from the north, everyone from the south, and friends and family are tuned in tonight as we start a brand new book. We're going to start the book of Matthew. Matthew tonight. Amen. Amen. Now, saints, I'm going to tell you something. If you go to Matthew chapter 1, you're going to find me from verses 1 to verse 17. Matthew chapter 1 tonight, a brand new book on Magnify Him Sound Doctrine Bible Line. Matthew chapter 1, a brand new book. Amen. We got 28 chapters, Pastor Hart, and God's got a lot to say to us from the book of Matthew. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So thanks we're going to be here for a minute. Amen. Uh, Matthew has a lot to unpack into our lives. So I thank God for, I hear you, Sister Jackie. I hear hear you, Doug. I hear y'all coming on. God bless you. Everybody's coming on tonight. Thanks, a brand new book tonight. We're starting in the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew. Now, saints, we're going to start with just the genealogy tonight. And I realize that genealogies are something that people usually skip through. You know, they hurry up and get right there to the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. In verse 18. But I want to take time to go through this genealogy because I think many times that, you know, we bypass stuff that is really, really super important in our biblical growth. And a genealogy is really not to be looked over because I'm going to show you tonight within this genealogy, there's a huge golden nugget that I would not want anybody in our ministry to miss because, saints, we're about to find out some things in this genealogy that that are absolutely going to bless your soul tonight. So just maybe you may not be looking over genealogies from now on because I believe that you're going to find something within these 17 verses of Matthew chapter 1, brand new book tonight, Magnify Him, Sound Doctrine Line, our North and South Ministry, and all of our friends that are tuned in tonight. And your teacher for tonight is, of course, Pastor E. Amen. So with no further ado, let's everybody please make sure everybody's on the line, Deacon Hobbs, uh, Deacon Tracy, Mother Hobbs, Mother Ernestine, I, I, I welcome everybody to the line tonight, Mother Lumpson, my wife, family, Shante, friends, everybody, Linda, everybody, make sure that everybody you know is on this line tonight that is hungry for the word of God because believe me when I tell you tonight, you will be fed. Amen. Mm. Now I need amen. everybody amen. to just come off mute for a minute amen. and everybody let's give God an amen tonight and a good hand clap. Hallelujah. All right, we fired up and ready to go, y'all. Fired up and ready to go. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 1 to 17. Let's go to God in prayer, and then I'm going to start giving you a little background, and then we're going to get right into it. Dear Lord, Heavenly Fathers, we lift you up tonight. We thank you for this great opportunity. Uh, for you to just use me, God, in any way you see fit. I pray yes. you'll bring back all things that you have taught me to my uh, remembrance, God, that your people can be fed. Yes. I thank you because, God, I realize something, that these are your people, God, and they are called yes. by your name. And, Father, I pray tonight that you'll bless them immensely. I thank God for the Holy Spirit who is yes. so active in everything that we do and say yes. because we yes, can't yes, do nothing yes. without the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. So we just Amen. thank you and praise you, God, for everything you are. We rebuke anything that would hinder this Bible study tonight from going forth. And I pray that everybody will give so attention, so much attention to this particular teaching in Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to verse 17 tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I know amen. that our administrative amen. secretaries and secretaries have sent out the invitation uh, for everyone to be on the line tonight. So I know it's a lot of people out there. And if this is your first time with us in our uh, Sound Doctrine Bible study of 
chapter by chapter, line by line, and verse by verse. I promise you, if you get through this book of Matthew, this particular gospel, you'll really see the importance of going deep into our studies and allowing the word of God to become alive within our eyes and our ears and our spirit. Amen? Amen. So, saints, with no Amen. further ado, I'm in Matthew chapter 1, and I'm going to start in verse 1. I'm going to read it all to verse 17, but I need to talk to you a little bit about this book of Matthew before we get started. Now, the thing that I need you to we're in Matthew chapter 1, and uh, you came right on on time, Matthew chapter 1, and uh, Shana, I'm going to be in verses 1 to verse 17. Okay, first of all, let's talk about this book of Matthew okay. for a minute. Okay, the first book of the New Testament. Okay, first of all, Matthew is similar, okay, to the other Gospels, but it's also very unique in some ways, and I want to point this out to you. Number one, he shows five discourses of Jesus being a great teacher, five discourses oh, that you're going to get mm -hmm. in this book of Matthew as Jesus being the greatest teacher ever was. Here's the second point that I want to bring out about this book of Matthew. Okay, understand something. This book is not chronological. It's not. Matthew puts things together as things go together in a logical way. So Amen. I want you to understand something, Mother. It's, it's not necessarily according to the way that, um, that it, uh, timeline, but it's put together in a way where everything makes sense and comes together. It's not chronological. Matthew puts it together in a logical way. Okay, Sister Jackie, now here's another point. In this book of Matthew, you're going to find more Old Testament quotations than any other rest of the Gospels. Matthew has more Old Testament quotations. In fact, I'm going to tell you how many. He's got 50. 50 Old Testament quotations, and he's got about 75, uh, Deacon Tracy, allusions to the Old Testament. You, you see what I'm saying? References to the Old Testament. So he's got 50 Old Testament scriptures, but he also has 75 allusions to Old Testament. Okay? That's my third point. Here's my fourth point. He shows Jesus as the promised Messiah. He shows Amen. Jesus as being that promised Messiah, not just to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. Right. Now, you've got to remember something, that the Magi, they spoke about this promised Messiah. And Matthew is about to show us that Jesus was not just the promised Messiah to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. Okay? Amen. And here's my, here's my Amen. fifth point that I got to hit, okay, Samantha, that his, his emphasis is on Gentiles. Okay? Matthew's emphasis is on Gentiles, Andrea. Okay? So we got 28 chapters. Amen. Okay? And I promise you it's going to be a blessing in your life. All right? Now, Amen. I want you to – now, 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 now I got to point this out before we get started here. Uh, 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 Deacon, because see the uh, this the genealogy here traces the bloodline of Jesus' earthly father Joseph. Now don't get this mixed up with Luke. Now Matthew traces. I told you it's mainly the Gentiles. Matthew traces his genealogy through the bloodline of Jesus' earthly father, which is Joseph. Now, this is not Mary's bloodline. This is Joseph's bloodline to Jesus, okay? Now, Luke does it through Mary. Now, remember, Joseph had no biological connection to Jesus. Let me say mm. that again. Joseph had no biological connection to Jesus because, remember, Amen. Jesus Amen. was born of the Amen. Holy Ghost. Yes, he all right, so so now you know coming in the door that Joseph had no biological connection, Deacon Trevor, to Jesus, okay? Right. But the word said that he was born of a virgin by the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. 
So what yeah. we need oh, yeah. here, now let me tell you what we're looking at, because before we get to the book, I want you to understand what you're about to go into in this okay. lineage. I want you to realize something. This is the legal lineage of Jesus. Now, okay. his legal father, not blood father, but legal <laughs> earthly father was Joseph. Am I right? Because Joseph Amen. and Mary was married. Mm-hmm. So his yeah, right, legal... Uh. Legal. This is the legal lineage of Jesus through Joseph. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right, now, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read verses 1 to verse 17. Y'all pray for me. Watch this. Okay. It says, the book of the generations of Jesus Christ, son of David, the son of Abraham. Verse 2, Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob. And Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. Okay? Verse 3. Mm-hmm. And Judas begot Perez, and Perez and Zerah, and Tamar, and Perez begot, I'm in verse 3 of Matthew chapter 1. I'm only reading the, gen- the, the, the genealogy. Watch this. I'm in verse 3, Matthew chapter 1. Okay? And Judas begot Perez and Zerah, and Tamar, and Perez begot Ishram, and Ishram begot Aram. Verse 4, and Aram begot Amimadad, and Amimadad begot Nathan, and Nathan begot Solomon, or some may say Salmon. Okay? And Salmon begot Boaz of Rahab. All right? And Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse. I'm in Matthew chapter 1 and verse 6. And Jesse begot David the king. And David the king begot Solomon, of of who her had been the wife of Uriah. Okay? And Solomon begot Jehoram, and Jehoram begot Abiah, and Abiah begot Asa. And Asa begot Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat begot Jerum, and Jerum begot Oseas, and Oseas begot Jatham, and Jatham begot Echaz, and Echaz begot Ezekiel. I'm in verse 10 of Matthew chapter 1. And Ezekiel begot Manasseh, and Manasseh begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josias, and Josias begot Jeconias and his brethren, about the time they were carried away to Babylon. That's around uh, 593 B.C. I'm in verse 12 of Matthew, reading the the lineage, the genealogy of Jesus through Joseph. Joseph, not Mary, but Joseph. So Joseph is the earthly line, his fatherly line. But we know that Jesus is was a child of the Holy Ghost, and Mary is his bloodline. Okay, I'm in verse mm-hmm. 12. And after they begot, begot to, and after they were brought to Babylon, Jehechaniah begot Selethiel, and Selethiel begot Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel begot Abud, and Abud begot Elikim, and Elikim begot Azar. Azar begot Zadok, and Zadok begot Achim, and Achim begot Eliud, and Eliud begot Eleazar, and Eleazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. Now, see, there's Joseph. You see that? There's Joseph. Mm-hmm. That's so, so you see, mm-hmm. this is Joseph's bloodline. You see, I want to point out that in verse 16. And Jacob begot who? Joseph the husband of Mary, of whom was born mm-hmm. who? Jesus, our Savior, Jesus, yeah. who is called uh-huh. the Messiah, the Anointed One. Verse 17. So all the generations, from Abraham to David, were 14 generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the uh-huh. carrying away of Babylon to Christ are 14 generations. Now, 
I don't have time to get into this right now, but I just showed you 42, 42 generations. Now, like I said, I'm not going to get into this right now, but this is another teacher for another time. The number 42 is a very, very significant number in the Bible. Now, let me Amen. tell you why. Listen to me now. I want you to realize something. When Israel was in the wilderness, it was mm -hmm. 42 stops, 42 stops in the wilderness. Listen, I, I'm not going to get into it because I'd be here too long, but I'm just telling you now that that number 42 is a very, very significant number in this Bible, okay? Because okay. I want you to realize something. This whole Bible is about Jesus. If you take the first letter in Genesis, and this is in, in Hebrew, if you take the first letter in Genesis and the last letter in Revelation, the very last letter and the very first letter, you put them two letters together in Hebrew, and guess what it means? The Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The very Amen. first letter in Genesis and the very last letter in the book of Revelation, when you put them two letters in Hebrew, it means the Son. That means Amen. Jesus. Amen. Okay? Amen. So when I yeah. tell you something that's very significant, if they had 42 stops in the wilderness, and then you see here in the book of Matthew, it's 42 generations to Jesus. Believe me, the number 42 is very significant. Okay? Yes, yes, All right. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, let's get into this a little bit. All right. So the genealogies here trace this bloodline of Joseph being the earthly father. Okay? Now, I want you to look back at verse 11. I told you some things in here I don't want you to miss. All right? Because many times people just look right over this and go right to verse 18. They act like the lineage well, doesn't have any significance. But I want to show you some things that you will always remember this lineage right here, these 17 verses, I promise you. I want you to look back at verse 11, okay? It says in verse 11 that Joaz begot Jeconias and his brethren about the time that they were carried away to Babylon. You see that? You see Amen. that? All right, Amen. come on now. Where y'all at? Amen. All right? Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to realize that Josiah was a great king, okay? And he was the father of Jeconiah. Now, you may not know that name, Jeconiah, but let me tell you what you probably know him by, King Jehoiakim. Jeconiah and King Jehoiakim are the same person. Now, watch this. This verse 11. Now, you got to realize something. He was third in line before the captivity of Judah going into Babylon. Let me teach you. Mm. And he was evil as evil can be. Mm. You're going to remember in a minute because I preached a sermon about him. Listen, mm. he was evil as evil can be. All right? And in this bloodline of Joseph, the first thing you're beginning to see, wait a minute, he got evil people in his bloodline. You better believe it. And this guy mm -hmm. right here was about as evil as they come. Mm -hmm. This was in the time of Jeremiah. I'm going to bring this back to your remembrance. Okay. He was evil and he was cursed. The whole bloodline was cursed because he was so evil. And let me tell you mm -hmm. what he did. Jeremiah, he was so evil in this bloodline here that God said that not one of his family members would ever sit on the throne of David. I'm in Matthew chapter 1, and I'm pointing out some things in this genealogy from verse 1 to verse 17 that are very important so you don't look over genealogies no more. Verse, verse 11 is my first point. Josiah begot Jeconias and his brethren about the time that they were carried away to Babylon. So I already said that you may not know his name by Jeconiah, but you're definitely going to remember his name, Jehoiakim. He was a third before they went into captivity of Judah and the Babylon, and he was evil as can be. 
and God cursed his whole bloodline. From his bloodline, God said none of his family would ever be on the throne of David. Now, that's how evil he was. God cursed him. Amen. Now, watch this. Mm -hmm. Now, he reigned in the time of Jeremiah's day. So Jeremiah the prophet, God gave Jeremiah a scroll. And okay. in the scroll, it was written that the only way for them to survive this Babylonian captivity was to submit to God's will. To submit Amen. to going into being under captivity, going in under these battles. He said, that's the only way y'all going to survive. You've got to go into captivity because your sins are immense. They're Amen. great. Amen. And he said, you have to submit to God's discipline. That's the only way they were going to make it. The whole Amen. nation. Watch this. So they had to submit to God's disciplinary action. That means, Samantha, that they had to go into Babylon. They had to go into captivity. It was just what God said, and it was a pronouncement on them, and that's what they had to do. Now, Jeremiah came with a scroll that God told Jeremiah to write, the scribe to write. So the scribe gave a scroll to Jeremiah. He goes and reads it. He reads it to him. Now, I want you to realize something. As he reads this scripture to him, let me show you how wicked King Jehoiakim was. He would read a paragraph. Jehoiakim would cut it off, and he would light it on fire and throw it in the fire. Mm -hmm. Totally disrespecting mm -hmm. God. Every mm -hmm. time Jeremiah would read, he would tear it off, cut it off, set it on fire, mm -hmm. throw it in the fire. Mm -hmm. He disregarded God's word like God's word wasn't nothing. Amen. I told you, you will not look over mm -hmm. genealogies no more. Because mm -hmm. this verse 11 shows you something about Joseph's bloodline. Amen. Watch this. So, in total rebellion to God's word, because that's total rebellion, if you're just yeah. taking the Bible, yeah. 10 pages yeah. and burning it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And God had Jeremiah to go back and let his scribe write the scroll, but God added a word to Jeconiah. And it's in mm -hmm. Jeremiah 36 and verse 30, chapter and verse. He added to that scroll for that scribe to write something special just for that wicked Jeconiah. And in Jeremiah mm -hmm. 36, verse 30, it says, Therefore, this is what the Lord says about mm -hmm. Jehoiakim, the king of Judah. He said he will have no one to set on the throne of David. His body will be thrown out, exposed to the heat of the day and the frost at night, and God curses bloodline. Why? Why would Matthew mention this? Because it's not the bloodline of Mary. This is the bloodline of Joseph. I'm going to get to something in a minute. Now, and Matthew, when the bloodlines come from down to David, and when Luke's bloodline comes down to David, they twitch. They twitch. When the bloodline comes down in Matthew, it gets to David, and then it goes to Solomon. It goes to Solomon. Then it goes to Joseph. And then it jumps from Joseph all the way to Jesus. You see that right here. Look what it says in verse 16. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus. You see, it jumped straight to Jesus, right? So, it yes. jumped, so what did it do? Amen. It just went over the bloodline of King Jehoiakim. Lord have mercy. Amen. Are Amen. you looking at your Bible tonight? Are you looking Amen. at your Bible tonight? Amen. Amen. Get right over the bloodline. Get right over Jehoiakim. And who did it go to? Joseph. Yes. Straight to Jesus. Watch this. And in Luke's genealogy, it goes from David to Nathan to Mary. You can go back and look at it tonight because I know some of you will. And then to Jesus. So Joseph was a legal bloodline and Mary was a true bloodline. 
Now, here's the point that we have to bring out. Everyone in this genealogy right here, you see, you're looking at this, from verse 1 to verse 17, if you listen tonight, I want you to get off mute and say amen. I want to make sure everybody hears what this word is saying tonight. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Watch this. Watch this. Watch amen. this, George. Oh, Deacon Hobbs, this is good. I want you to realize something. Everybody in this genealogy right here that you're looking at, Joseph's bloodline, everyone in this genealogy was a sinner all the way down to the last person, Jesus. These are some of the most wickedest, evil people in this Bible, right here in this bloodline. So you might say, well, Pastor, I'm kind of confused. I don't know. Pastor, why in the world would Jesus' bloodline be all of these wicked people on Joseph's side? I mean, Jesus is, is God. He's holy. He's pure. Because God wanted us to know this is the reason why you cannot miss, you can't skip over stuff in the Bible. Too important. Um, I want you to realize something. The reason why Matthew wrote this genealogy, and I told you he's writing the Gentiles, right? Because Amen. God wanted to let all of us know that his son was going to be identified with sinful man. That's uh-huh. it. He wanted you to know that he was going to be numbered with the sinners. You see, Amen. Right here, uh-huh. he's numbered wait, with wait. See, mm-hmm. he, listen, he came to seek and save those that are what? Lost. 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 So Amen. here he is in the bloodline of some of the most wickedest people that ever lived. Yeah. And now you now you see why Jesus had to be baptized by John in the river. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Uh, I remember that. Because right. remember, John's baptism was a baptism of what? Repentance. Mm-hmm. Oh that's Lord. Right. Yeah, we're that's true. Amen. Amen. We're going to do. Listen, this right, is the right. reason why. John had to baptize him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jesus' yeah, okay. ugly bloodline identified him with his sinners, uh-huh. wicked people. So he yeah. had to be baptized. He had nothing to repent for, but since he came down through that bloodline, that's the reason why John had to baptize Jesus. All right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. John right. said, Amen. I have no need to bat- to be bat- for me to baptize you. I need you to baptize me. With John. See, now uh-huh. you begin to see how things are coming together. Is anybody seeing this? Is anybody getting the revelation of this? Amen. 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 See, that Jesus had to be identified with sinners. With sinners. That's Amen. the reason uh-huh. why John the Baptist had to baptize him back to heart. Amen. Yes, so yes, he yes. would be identified with sinners. Oh, my yes, God. Is he home with him, too? Oh, my God. It was home with too. You're mm. exactly right. So Jesus Thank here you, shows that, listen, Jesus here is showing that he's not from an untainted lineage or from a family without a stain. Amen. Amen. He's Amen. showing you. He's showing Gentiles, us. You understand? Born in sin. Caked in the middle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Jesus is showing us this bloodline to show us, not showing us, I'm sorry, this earthly line, this earthly lineage. He's showing us this to let us know just how much he loves us. Okay? Right, yeah. Yeah. He was numbered uh-huh. with sin. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh-huh. you know, Samantha, you know, baby, I hear people, they say, well, I'm going to get myself together and then I'll be at church. Let me tell you something. <laughs> tell you something. Yeah, get, get, uh, get Jesus died for you no matter what. I don't care, yeah, what, no, you uh-huh. get, I don't care what you did last yeah. night. I don't care what you yeah. did. Yeah. This is what I'm trying to say here. The reason why Matthew is showing this bloodline is to show everybody, no matter who you are, where you are, 
where you come from, what you've been uh-huh. through, yeah. what you yeah. used to do, what you've done yesterday, what you may yeah. even do today. Yes. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is for you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Jesus came to identify with people, people who fail. Like mm. us. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came to identify with people who struggle. Yeah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. People on drugs, people on alcohol, people that are sinners and, and, and do all kind of wild, wicked stuff. He yes, said, hold yes. up. I got all that in my bloodline. Not oh, because I'm yes, sorry, yes. in my earthly lineage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm number Amen. one. Amen. Mm-hmm. He said, I went to, I, he said, I had to be baptized by John. Oh, I didn't yes, do yes, anything. Yes. Uh-huh. But through my earthly lineage, uh-huh. He said, I had to be baptized. Amen. You know yes. So uh-huh. people who sin and don't measure up, you're right in the right place right now. now Amen. I know some of you probably got some, we got visitors on the line, and you're saying to yourself, Pastor, you know, nobody ever really kind of went through this lineage before. Well, maybe that's why some people feel like that they can't be saved. Some Amen. people feel like Amen. maybe they're not good enough. Some people feel like Maybe they mama's mistake down by the lake. Maybe mm. that's why some people feel like they could never reach the place in their life where they could come into a church and ask Jesus Christ to save their life. Maybe because we got people that won't go over the lineage. Oh. And they won't show just how wicked and evil the people in Joseph's bloodline were. Because if they mm-hmm. this, maybe, just maybe, they may feel like, you know, uh, it might be late, but it's not too late. Maybe I'm going to come on Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I want you to realize something. He's talking about people here that are so off point. When people say, you know, i got to get it together before I come to church, what is it mm-hmm. that you think you've got to get together? Let me tell you something. You can't get nothing together without Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. You understand? Yes. The word yes. says Thank over there in Second Corinthians that God made him that knew no sin to become what? Sin for us. Sin for us. And the Bible says he bore all our sins on the cross, y'all. That we may become the righteousness of God through Christ. Christ. Yes. Yes. Uh God made him to be for us. Listen, God made him. To be there on that cross for us, y'all. You understand? Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. And, and, and guess what? You got some women in this genealogy, too. Amen. And let me tell you something. Amen. Let me tell you something. These women just as wicked as the men. You better look at verse yes, 3. Right. Yeah, yeah. Matthew chapter yeah. 1 and verse 3. Come on now. Uh-huh. Here we go. All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. We're looking at the genealogy. I told you it's more than this genealogy than what you thought. Don't skip it. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 3. I want you to look it right in the face. Look at verse 3. It says, And Judas begot Perez, and Perez Mm -hmm. and Zerah of Tamar. Tamar? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Is that the Tamar that's in the Bible? Yes, it is. It's Mm Miss Tamar. Now, some of you might have forgot who Tamar is, so let me refresh your memory. Tamar is known for prostituting herself. Right here Mm -hmm. in Joseph's bloodline in the book of Matthew, Mm -hmm. chapter 1, verse 1 to 17, whoop, there it is. Oh, Tamar, Mm -hmm. the old prostitute. Huh? Mm -hmm. And some of you might remember Tamar Mm -hmm. because... Mm-hmm. She prostituted herself mm-hmm. with her own father-in-law. That's incest, baby. Mm-hmm. That's prostitution. Yeah. 
Let's Amen. get it right. Uh-huh. Let's, get it. Let's get it right. Amen. I'm telling you, Jesus numbered himself with sinners. So Amen. what happened with Tamar? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So she married Judah's son, Judah. And mm-hmm. Judah's son down. Okay? Mm-hmm. So he had another son. Mm-hmm. So he said, well, Tamar, go ahead and marry my next son. Okay? Mm. Okay. So, and this, 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 this is the way it was done now. Okay? Because uh-huh. somebody had to take her and, and put her under a wing and marry her because if not, probably her only way to make her die was to sell her body. Mm. There wasn't uh-huh. much room for no businesswoman back in, the, in those days. Mm-hmm. Or either mm-hmm. sell herself to prostitution or either be into poverty. It's going to extreme poverty. So yeah. Judah said, okay, I want you to marry my next son. So she went to marry the next son, and guess what? He died. Mm-hmm. So now she don't have an heir. She don't have mm. no son to take care of her. Because remember, mm. that's what men did in those days. Hit, hit, hit. They took care of the women. The wife said, mm-hmm. uh, so now he died. And she like, oh, man, I ain't had a baby yet. So uh-huh. he said, listen, I want you to wait until my baby boy grow up. And then you can mm. marry him and surely you can have a baby. But baby mm. boy said, no, 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 no. <laughs> baby boy said, hey, to the no. I ain't no, because I know what happened to both of my brothers. And I ain't trying to go out like that. I'm not going to marry it. But dad is dead. And I ain't going to be dead like my brothers. Just paraphrase. That's the Bible. You know what yeah. I'm Amen. So, say, no, well, 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 no. Baby boy said, uh-uh, no, no. Head to the no. <laughs> so, he saw what happened to his brother. So, yeah, good Tamar, you know. what Tamar did, Okay, stay in the word. Mm-hmm. Tamar put mm-hmm. on a veil. I'm right mm-hmm. here in Matthew chapter 1, verse 3. I'm going to read it again. In the lineage of Joseph, and Judah begot Perez, and Perez and Zerah of Tamar. And I'm dealing with Tamar. All right? Mm-hmm. Tamar married Judah's son. Judah's son died. She married Judah's next son. He died. Judah said, listen, marry baby boy, so you can have a baby, so y'all can keep on the bloodline, and you have somebody to take care of you, so you don't have to be sold in the prostitution or go into extreme poverty. Baby boy said, I ain't doing it. Listen, my other two brothers died. I don't know what's going on with this woman, but I ain't, getting ready. I ain't going that route. I'm not fooling with her. So what Tamar does, he puts on the veil, okay, over her face, yeah. Mm-hmm. And listen, she sold herself as a prostitute to her father-in-law, Judah. Mm-hmm. Now, now wait a minute. Hold up. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Because I know some of y'all are saying right now, Pastor, what in the world is going on here? <laughs> I'm showing you. I'm showing you yeah. Joseph's bloodline. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Now you and I both know. You and I both know. Tamar was wilding out. Yeah. You understand? She was a woman, mm-hmm. and she wanted a baby, and she wanted a baby right now. So she <laughs> went into Judah and had sex with her father. Oh, now God. I want you to realize something. This. This is not pretty at all. Can I get a witness? Listen, yeah, if I, get on here, I need to get yeah, a witness amen. here tonight. Amen. I want to make sure that y'all are studying amen. the lineage in Matthew amen. chapter 1, verse 1 to 17, which some people just skip over, but you find some things within this lineage that maybe you ought not have skipped over. Amen. Right? Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, okay. Now let's move on a little bit further. Okay, showing you how Jesus was numbered with sinners. Verse 5. Here we go again. And Solomon begot Boaz, 
and Boaz, a Ra- oh, Lord, here go Rahab now. Ray- oh, man. Here Rahab the prostitute. Oh, Lord, uh, I told Rahab. y'all that he got some the show nuts, pure these sinners, in his bloodline. Amen. Now, y'all remember how Rahab lied? Amen. She had the spot. She had that little spot cozy in the wall where the men mm-hmm. would travel. Okay, yeah. go in with, you know, go in with the prostitute. She probably was a madam. Mm-hmm. She's running things. Uh-huh. You understand? <laughs> you go in there and do their thing and keep it moving. All right? Uh-huh. And yeah. some of y'all might sit on the line with your little virgin ears. I can't believe that. Talking about pro- Prostitution yeah. is one of the oldest businesses on the earth. Amen. Okay? Amen. It's been yeah, around forever. Yeah. All right. Amen. Now, so that's Rahab. Do y'all feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now you done heard of Jeconiah, right? Mm-hmm. Come on now. Amen. You done know. dealt with Amen. Tamar. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We're, yeah. we're, listen, listen, we done dealt with Rahab, okay? Amen. So I uh, guess Matthew. now you're beginning to see how Matthew is homing in on the bloodline of Joseph because some Gentiles mm-hmm. are going to realize something that, listen, they wasn't no better than you. If they can be Amen. saved, Amen. Amen. all right? Amen. All right, Amen. hang with me. So I, got, I got to hit you with another one that's gone down to Bathsheba. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that verse 6. <laughs> and Jesse, he got David, the king, uh-huh. and David, the king, he got Solomon. Now look what it says in verse 6. Of her uh-huh. who had been the wife of Uriah. Look at him. Ain't that son? Look at his bloodline. Oh, Joseph. Some of y'all said, man, I didn't know Joseph was like that. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph was crazy, man. Yeah. They did some wild stuff. So 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 now you see you see this right here. And you know what happened with David. He stayed back while they was in war. He's up on the roof. Yeah. He looked mm-hmm. over there and seen Bathsheba, 34, mm-hmm. 24, 36. Brick house. <laughs> huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. He said, Huh? He had lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and a part of life hit him all at the same time. Amen. Then he had to have her. Amen. Now, Amen. let me tell you something. I want you to realize something. David killed Uriah. He said, when you go out there to mm-hmm. war, put him on the front line, put him in the front, mm-hmm. let him be graveyard David. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, uh, You understand? Mm-hmm. And what he's going to do, he's going to play it off. They're going to think it, that David just took her and made her his wife because her husband uh-huh. died. Mm-hmm. And, and, and she wasn't pregnant with his baby before. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you something. When that prophet knocked on that door, Nathan, hey, mm-hmm. I thank God yeah. for him. God, Because yeah. he yeah. told him that little parable about the yeah. little ewe lamb. I wish I had yeah. some Bible readings here. Amen. 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 Okay? Amen. 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 He did what? Mm-hmm. The, 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 the man only had one little ewe lamb. And you mean to tell me that he took it? Bring me the man. I kill him dead. And you were talking about it, sir. David, uh, David you are the man. Hey, what? Hey, man. Hey, ain't that something? Ain't that something? Uh-huh. Ain't that something? Right. And we Robert see David what you mean. in a light like they've never seen him before. His men, everybody, he's laying in his own urine on the ground mm-hmm. in the palace. Mm-hmm. He's laying in a pool of urine. A pool of feces, crying, mm-hmm. sleeping, ain't taking no bath. They never mm-hmm. seen David like that. But mm-hmm. let me tell you something. When they stopped mourning, mm-hmm. David got up. Mm-hmm. David up. got up. He said, time to move on. See, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking to tonight, and I'm just teaching Bible study. But I want you to realize something. I don't care how bad it is what you've been through or what you've done. You got to realize mm-hmm. something. It's time to get up and start yes, going it is. Up. Yeah. 
Yes, Lord, yes, hallelujah. It's not no Thank time you, to wallow in, in, in the past and, and what happened. When David didn't hear the mourners crying no more, David got up. He said, David, what, what changed? He said, well, now the baby done went home to be with, to be with the Lord. Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the baby it's in God's that. hands now. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. It's time for him to get up, take a bath, get back in the race, go back to work. Listen, mm-hmm. get up off your pity party. Get up off Amen. Amen. It's a brand new Amen. day. Turn the page. Amen. It doesn't matter. Amen. My dad, it doesn't Hallelujah. matter what you've done. Jesus yes. will forgive you. Are you listening to me? Amen. You are Amen. forgiven. Amen. You understand? Amen. It's time to get Amen. up yes, and Lord. move on. Amen. Because if David, after sleeping mm-hmm. with the woman, after killing her husband, fornicating, mm-hmm. can get up and move on, baby, you can move mm-hmm. on too. Okay? Amen. Let me tell you something. Amen. This is very good. One thing I need to teach y'all tonight that God has put in my spirit, you can't unsleep with nobody. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. You can't unsleep with nobody. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to do that. That'd be pretty, pretty much impossible. You understand? So you Amen. can't hold on to the past. You can only Amen. move on to your future. Amen. And this yeah. front line is telling me tonight, and I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs to move on. Move Amen. On. Amen. Time to Amen. go. You've been lying down too long in tears and, and your own sadness mm-hmm. and, and your situation. Listen, mm-hmm. it's over now. Let's move Amen. on. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 All right? Come on, give God Amen. the praise right there before I go Amen. on. Come on. Thank you, Come on, Thank you. Come on y'all. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Amen. Now, I don't want you to think during these passages here that God winks at sin. I'm not saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I did not say that. Don't mm-hmm. don't do that, okay? Don't go there. I'm not saying that. God is not giving you a a, a, a permission to go uh, be a Tamar tonight. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Amen. You understand? Amen. God ain't giving mm-hmm. you the, the right to go be a Jeconiah tonight. You understand? Mm-hmm. Or Bathsheba, or David. No, God Amen. ain't saying that. Mm-hmm. Amen. But what God is saying, He came to use our lives. Uh. Now your walk may be different than mine. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Doug, you know this is what I'm saying. You know we all come from all different walks of life. But you got to realize that when you're born again, God wants to use your life. He wants yeah. to use Amen. you. Amen. Mm-hmm. No matter yeah. what you've done, no matter where mm-hmm. you've been, mm-hmm. no matter what your family say, friends say, people don't mm-hmm. like you say. I mean, you know what they told me? Say, you'll never be nothing, okay? Oh. You're a loser. Your mama mm-hmm. didn't want you. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know what? God I thought you. of all the things that people said I couldn't be. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know what I could be until I came to Christ. Amen. Amen. And you know, God Amen. didn't say none of that negativity to me. Amen. He said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Amen. 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 My Bible yeah. tell me that, that I'm the head, not the tail. I'm above and not yeah. beneath. Amen. My Bible tell me that I am the righteousness of God through Christ. Yes. And you got to realize something tonight. You got to figure out who report you're going to believe. Yes. Amen. And you got to realize something. The Bible says, no man think of in his heart, so shall he be. So it's going to be. Yes. What you think about tonight? Where, where you at tonight? I'm all up Amen. in your business. I know you're saying, who in the Amen. world is this pastor right here? The one all up in your business tonight? Amen. Telling you Amen. to deal yourself. Amen. Get up and move on. Amen. Because Amen. there's nothing that you can do on God's green earth. When Jesus went to that cross, he took every sin that we could ever commit on him. Yes, he did. Amen. Over Amen. Amen. So if Jesus Amen. died to forgive us for all our sins, why are you carrying mm-hmm. all this foolish burden around? Do you know that Amen. the devil is playing a guilt trip on you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Listen, mm-hmm. let me tell you something. Who the Son has yes, set is. free 
is free in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, I dare three people to say, I'm free. In Jesus' name. I'm free. Hallelujah. Praise in God. Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So no matter Amen. what you've been through, no matter how you live tonight, oh, God, I wish I had a witness on this night tonight, y'all. Amen. Hallelujah. It's better than good. Ain't it good? Oh, this is good right here. You know, and, and I think about all the times, you know, people just jump right by the lineage. Like 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 mm-hmm. like like God wrote it for nothing. You, you understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He wrote this mm-hmm. so you and I could realize that guess what? Jesus died for us and we were sinners mm-hmm. just like Joseph Bloodline was all mm-hmm. sinners and if they can be saved, we can be saved. Amen. Yeah, amen. amen. Let me tell you mm-hmm. that I feel bad about my whole life right now. Oh my God, who am I talking to? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel bad about my life. Now that I see that I'm not a lone soldier, that I'm not mama sitting down by the lake, that other people in the Bible that got an ugly past just like my past. And I know that my past ain't squeaky clean, but I thank the Lord Jesus Christ that I've been redeemed. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. We've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. What are you sitting there with your lips poked out for? What's wrong mm-hmm. with you? Amen. Get up and live. Tell me, get up and live. You know Amen. what? I'm going to tell you like the song said today, I was listening to, maybe the other day. It said, it's good to be alive. But it's best yes, to live. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be alive. But it's best to live. I wish I had somebody would say that tonight. Hallelujah. It's good to be alive. Be alive. Be alive. Be alive. Be alive. Come on, Judy. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 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 If you've got issues, I'm here to tell you that he will make you clean inside. I'm telling Amen. you. I'm telling you. If you got issues, just give your life to God. Yes. Whatever your issue, your problem, your dilemma is, he can handle it. Amen. I promise you. Amen. He can handle it. And the sooner you do it, and I know many people on the line tonight are saved. I know you love the Lord. But, you know, yeah. you may not have been handling things the way you should. You know, Amen. you mm-hmm. might tell yourself slipping back a little bit. Maybe you've done something you're not proud of. And yeah. Maybe you know you're not there yet. You know, mm-hmm. you, 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 you know, you, you know, you're just not there yet, okay? You know, you, mm-hmm. you, you know, you're doing your best. You're not who you used to be. You understand? Amen. And, and you're better than you've ever been. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. Always remember, the devil wants to come and knock you down again. That's what he wants Amen. to do. Amen. But as long as you keep standing up, as long Amen. as you keep getting up, as Amen. long as you keep getting back in the race, I'm going to tell you yes. something. You've got to be in it to win it. You understand? Yes. Uh, right. Listen, Amen. I want you to realize something, that you're marked. For tribulation, mm-hmm. trial. You're marked for that. You're marked for mm-hmm. that. Because mm-hmm. you got to realize something that in this world, he said, you're going to have tribulation. What we'll makes you mm-hmm. think you can't get it? But don't think just because a trial comes, mm-hmm. okay, or temptation comes, mm-hmm. that you're not saved no more. That's a lie. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't believe mm-hmm. that. You understand? Mm-hmm. I want you to realize something that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask of things. See, what our problem is, is when we get in trouble, we sometimes forget where our help is coming from. You understand? You've got to learn to talk to God. God Ask God to help you to overcome. You know, I I was talking to a young man early this morning, maybe 5 o'clock, I was ministering to this young guy, and I was telling him, I said, you know, man, I said, you know, all through the Bible, you see where the Bible says that uh, 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 that that the prophets they would ask God to strengthen their hand. 
strength in their yeah. hands. I say, and, and the reason why that they would ask God to strengthen their hand because the hand is a symbol of of, of strength in the hand means that they get weak. They get weak. Mm-hmm. See, I want mm-hmm. you to get this revelation of asking God to strengthen your hand because oh, yes, you know Paul said, "When I am weak." Though he is strong, you ever heard that scripture? He says, yes. when I'm weak, yes. uh, he is strong. Yes. So he got to realize that, 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 that when you're at your weakest, you ask God to strengthen your hand. Amen. You understand? Mm-hmm. Amen. To strengthen you Amen. So you can be able to endure whatever is in front of you. Because Amen. I've learned yes. something about God, oh, that if you don't give up, he won't give up on you. Oh, my God. Amen. 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 Oh, my God, you better Amen. listen. Amen. If, if you don't give up on God, God won't give Amen. up on you. If you ask him to sit in your hand, yeah. you know, yes, I, I look yes. at Brother oh, Doug, yeah. you know, and Amen. I look at what my brother's been going through. I know it hasn't Amen. been easy. I know he's been in a struggle. I know he's been in a battle. But he called me today, Doug, and I hope you don't mind. He said, Pastor, I just got joy in my heart. See, God done oh, strengthen in my hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Thank you, Thank you Amen. 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 God is strengthen your hand. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Amen. And remember, he's able to keep you from falling. And it prevents Amen. you faultless in his sight. My yes, God. Amen. What a way to end the Bible study. What a way to end the Bible study, my God. Come on, let's give God the praise right now, y'all. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, let the devil know that he ain't got no praise Hallelujah. on you. Come Thank on, you, give Jesus. him the praise. Thank Come you. on, give yes. him the glory. Come yes. on, yes. Give him the Come on, open up your mouth and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Good to be alive. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Thank you. We don't have any questions tonight. You know, I know that when you look at the book of Matthew, you'll never look at this genealogy the same way again. Amen. You, know, you, see how much, you see how much you miss when you skip over the word? Yes. Yeah. Man, let me yeah. tell you something. This word is so pregnant. It's, it's just so much in it. You're going to get so many golden nuggets from this book of Matthew. It's Amen. Be a blessing Amen. Amen. Life. You know, and I just thank you for starting this journey, and I pray that God would just strengthen you to stay on course through these next 28 chapters so you can yeah. finally tighten up your belt and say, Lord, I finished another book of the Bible through Bible yeah, study. Yeah, I thank God for chapter by chapter, line by line, verse by verse yeah. for these great Bible teachers that are working in my life to bring me the Word of God. There's nothing greater than, 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 than the Word of God, nothing. Amen. 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 In the word of God. Amen. Okay, say, let's go to God. Any questions tonight? Any questions? Anybody? Okay. All right. Well, you love the word like I love the word, and we're going to stay in the word. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Pray now. We're going to close out our first Bible study in the book of Matthew. And make sure you tell somebody, hey, you need to get on the sound doctrine line next Tuesday because it's going down. Amen. We're going through the book of Matthew. Amen. Tell somebody else what you learned tonight. Hey, Amen. Hey, what I learned on Bible study tonight. Man, that joke has some cold-blooded killers in his bloodline, man. Just like Amen. some of us are crazy. We were crazy as can be, man. He had some Amen. crazy people in his family. That's what pointed them out. Man, I don't feel so crazy now. In fact, I'm yeah. feeling whole. Man. Mm, we got some. Hey. Mm. Hey, look. If he loved them, I know he loved me too. I'm good. Amen. <laughs> I feel good about yourself. Amen. 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 Feel good about yourself. And know that Jesus Amen. really loves you. And can Amen. I tell you something else tonight? Amen. I love you too with all my heart. I thank God for all of you. Shantae, I'm so happy you rang that bell today. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's been a journey. Jesus, mighty name. We're so proud of you. So proud of you. You know, I'm glad Doug's out the hospital. You know, Hallelujah. Amen. So many people on the line tonight. I thank God, Sister Vicky, and and uh, the Galloway crew have made it back to North Carolina from the, the Lions. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And the Lions and. Yeah. And the Bushette. I just call all y'all. Amen. 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 Praise God. Okay, I got the whole Bible bus back. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So Hallelujah. We thank God for God being so good, you know, and I thank God for my wife being on the line tonight. Amen. Yeah. I with me through all my prayers and studying, and, you know, she's still in love with me. I'm still in love with her. We got a good thing going. All right, let's go to God in prayer, and we're going to close out, okay? Um, dear Lord, Heavenly Father, as we thank you for this book of Matthew from verse 1 to verse 17 tonight. It has been a very enlightening experience for all of us. We found out some things about the Bible that, you know, God is a real book with real people. It's yes. real things. You know, God, it's not just pie in the sky. It's a biblical reality. And, God, we learned tonight that some of our family, way back in these Bible days, that they were just as crazy as some of us used to be. Amen. Amen. (laughs) But, you know, God, they made it, and we're going to make it too. And we're going to make it. Amen. I thank you and praise you, God, for, you know, showing us love like this and giving us this great opportunity tonight. And I want to pray for the sick and the shut and the downtrodden, the burden and the heavy laden. I want to take time to pray for our teachers and leaders and pastors and lay people and the mothers. And, you know, God, I just cannot pray enough and give thanks for the administrators around here to keep things going. Amen. And keep a level playing field where we can keep this ministry going 100 miles an hour going forward. I thank God for Dick and Tracy and you know, we're going to get more into our advertising. You know, that's what we need to talk about. And uh, I just thank God for, for what you're doing, God, with us. And, God, just let us please stay humble so you can use us. All these things we give thanks as we pray for everyone in this world and pray the prayer that you'll answer all their prayers, God. And I pray that every need will be met tonight, that the love of Christ will flow out of our hearts, to our loved ones and families and friends. Amen. And I thank God for today also being Sister Mary Peace's birthday. We thank God for her. I called up and sang a little happy birthday like I do. Amen. Praise Amen. God. God. To let him know that we love and we care. It's not too late to drop a little text. Happy birthday. Because the church that prays together stays together. Amen. Amen. So we thank you tonight, God, for everything you are. We thank you for everything you do. And mainly, God, tonight, we thank you for being you. In the name of the Father and in the Son, I thank God for also healing Mary Morgan. Praise God. I don't want to forget that. God is working. Amen. And all these things we pray and give thanks. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit tonight. In Jesus' name. And everybody get off mute. Be obedient now. Get off mute. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Amen.